good morning well fruits and cereal stock up build your food supply on budget january 2021 so that's the second week of january 2021 we took 300 dollars out for uh, our monthly grocery budget and that includes 150 for food and non-food staples, $60 for fruit, and $90 for meat. And we have ads, grocery ads this week, and we have items that we use that were on sale, so we stock up. And out of the $300 we took out, we spent $151.93 to stock up on our grocery staples. So that includes food and non-food for $87.87. And we purchased the cereals were on sale at Hy-Vee for $0.77 uh, a box and we purchased 38 boxes. We might get to that. From Hy-Vee for $37. I don't know where I have that. But $37.62, I believe, yes. Uh, Aldi has, so, f and then for the full uh, budget, we purchase, we like to celebrate our birthdays on budget. So we, but we made some grocery purchases for $44.18 for a birthday. And that include what we cook and 25 pound bulk of flour as well. So that is not, they are not here. And in the ad we have, now let's talk about the food. So we spent $87.87 on food and non-food out of that $150 budget. And fruits we have $60 for budget, or wise for the month. And we spent $28.76. On apples, apples we purchased 11 bags. There were three pound bags for a dollar ninety nine from Aldi, and we purchased 11 bags. And they are gala apples, and it's good to stock up on apples in winter time because they last a, 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 a lot. They last, and depending on the variety, some of them last longer than others. But when you have kids at home, it's good to have fruit. On hand and when food goes on sale you can stock up on food that way you can serve them healthy snack during me um, between meals so Hy-Vee has banana on sale for 29 cents a pound and we purchased 23.71 pounds of banana for six dollars seven cents six dollar eighty seven cents we we stock up on meat as well. Now the three percent lean ground beef was on sale for two dollar ninety nine cents from Fairway Grocery Store, and is a long tube of ten pounds. So we purchased one ten pound ninety three percent ground lean for thirty dollars fourteen cents, and Aldi has a dozen of egg for eighty six cents, and we purchased six of those for. Five dollars sixteen cents. So we spent thirty five dollars thirty cents on meat. So let's see if I can find. And there were some items in the grocery aisle that we like to stock up, but they expired. We saw it, but we just didn't purchase them on time. So you will notice it here. They have the gala on sale. I don't know if they have the egg here or not. So, and when we get the ad, what I like to do is just put a mark next, next things that we wanted to purchase. So, that's the ground beef, now the 3% lean. I don't know how much they usually sell it, $3.49. 
cents a pound. That's what it costs usually. And I like to have ground beef on hand because we make pizza. We cook pizza. We bake pizza from scratch. We made the dough from scratch with sourdough starter. So it's good to have ground beef, but I can use any meat for those though. So we got that from Fairway and Hy-Vee and that's their cereal on sale and the banana here. So we got those and this is a holiday cookie that with another another one that I like to stock up on for snack as well at Aldi but we don't find it. Sometimes we don't find it. So then my husband one day he found one and he got it. So that will go in the food budget as well. But usually when they have it, I like to, it's made in Germany. I like to buy many of them and just stock up on that. So having a cookie and milk at home, that's pretty much a good snack as well. And those are the ads. When, so when it's good when you shop in a grocery, you know, at a grocery store, and you can get the ad, it's good to look in the ad to see what you use, and you can just stock up on the item it's when it goes on sale. So we like to stock up on that, but that expire before that, and they didn't have the egg, even less. Um, uh, it was a better deal than Adi, but that expired. We went to shop on the 12th of January and that expired the 10th. So that's something to consider as well. But then, yeah, so let's take a look at the cereal. So we have 38 boxes here. We stock up on cereal a week ago and now we have those cereals on sale again. And the last time was General Milk Cereal. This is the store brand, High V Point Cereals. And they have this one, Double Crunch Cereal. And that's where I'm seeing the expiration date is December. We have some December, we have June, we have April 2021, we have August here, and this one, yeah, this one is April, and that one is May. I believe I saw one February in them as well. So we have a lot of August, December, April, August, May, including one February there. So this one there, yeah. so we have, Try those cereals in the past so we know what the kids will like and it's good when you have children you are purchasing cereals to have varieties so that they don't get tired of of them and this one is uh, yeah mini crunch honey gram crunch as well uh, 12 ounces and what I like to do, I have done it in the past is I'll first go to Walmart to check cereals there and then like a similar cereal to see the 16 ounces, the price for 16 ounces compared to, you know, like 9 cents for 12 ounces, which one is a better deal before I purchase the cereal. That way I know which one I should buy, which one I should not because they'll have different uh, ounces there so this one is balanced living original multi multi cereal so don't know how much the fiber the fiber is three grams here and I think all of those are balanced living and this one I think that's the same one but say whole grain but is just a different expiration date. So my husband saw them out when he was checking. And I don't think we have to write, this is 11 ounces. So sometimes you might think it's a better deal, but it may not when the ounces is less for the price. So you might want to do um, your 
calculations may be real being our border so and I don't know PG PB and G puff and this one and that's for those 12.2 ounces a lot of time I don't like a lot of colors in food but my husband is the one making the purchases. Okay, so now that we see the cereals, let's go check the meat. The meat is in the freezer. So we are going to take the meat and we are going to check the milk and the egg. But that's how we stock up on food. So when you are trying to lower your grocery budget, what I will suggest is if you have an idea how much groceries cost you a month, it's good to take it out, like cash. A grocery expenses, groceries expenses are variable expenses. So if you take cash out for your groceries, you are pretty much making it a fixed expense. So when you don't spend everything that month, you just keep the rest, you just save the rest so that when you have sales, you can stock up. And the month you stock up a lot, you spend a lot, but you won't affect your checking account because you are not taking more out you are not taking more than what you usually take out every month for your groceries you know you are just keeping the excess to stock up on sale so i clean up the second shelves here so that we can put the cereals here and the one we got last time was the general meals and the one that expires we use them already we are still using one so we are going to fill up here with the cereals but we have our meat freezer here and i believe my husband put the tube here so that's fat i fried and i put in the bag so that it can harden up and i can just take the bag and put in the trash I don't know if you can see it, but that's a long tube. So that's a long tube. 10 pounds. Ground beef. It's not because we need it, but it's upside down, but you can see a 93 pound, a 93 uh, percent lean. 7% 7, 7 fat. But yeah, that's how we stock up on meat. That way to cook, we just come here and get what we need. We don't wait for to run out of meat and pay full price for for it. We just stock up. So when you are building your food supply on budget little by little, you'll have enough uh, staples on hand. That way you are not going to pay full price for your food staples so let's go up to check on the meat and to shop i mean to cook we just shop our pantries and to stock up what well, the purchases we made we make on a monthly basis is just to replenish our stock so i'm going to wash my hand here and that's our hemi soap and my natural soap that we sell at minasoap.com and that's pretty much what we use to wash dishes, wash our hand no fingers, no cut 
color all natural with quality make reset with quality oil they are looking for natural uh, soap you'll be able to find that in our store so we got the milk two gallons from RD as well and yesterday was the birthday so we have shrimp nuggets shrimp nuggets and fries but we are here for egg so we got six dozen we only have two eggs left when we got that so i put it there and we have six here uh, we have four here and two on top and our crisper so the banana is just going to stay in the basement it's going to stay in the basement to wipe slowly and the apple will come in the crisper so we have this one that I will fill up and the rest will stay in the basement and they will stay there for a while without problem so thank you so much for watching our videos if you don't have a large pantry it's okay you can still stock up on your groceries you see I have some um, shelves you need there that I use to hold the groceries and that's the pantry that came with the house it has shelves you need but they fell when I was putting canning jar on them so we need to redo it we purchase sturdy things to use but we have not put it together and I just use those shelves units in the basement to hold my groceries. I have used closet, linen closet as well until I gave it to the kids for their school thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for your time. Thank you for all your comments. And thank you, you all that subscribe to our channel. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel, Libreman Consulting podcast, and in our soup that come our blog. We have a spreadsheet to track our, to set our budget, our monthly budget, and our monthly grocery budget, and track our expenses and our grocery expenses as well. And that spreadsheet is going to be on our blog. I have not put it there yet, but when I do it, I will have a video to explain how the spreadsheet works. And if you are looking for a spreadsheet to stay within budget, that'll be a good spreadsheet to download. No need to you. you don't need, your email is not required, but we'll be happy if you join our community. But yeah, you can download it without problem, without subscribing. And take a look at it to see that it's pressure that feel your your need or you can make adjustment to it because it's not locked and you can start tracking your income your expenses so that you can live healthy within your budget and start putting your money to work you don't want to spend all your paycheck every single month you want to have a little bit left so that you can put it to work if you don't make money in your sleep you work twice for every penny you spend so let's make good use of our money by putting it to work thank you